What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is episode 5 for our series Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Let's get into it. I thought I was a goner. Look at me go! I've got bruises on my bruises. Koichi's still a threat. 
Damn it! The money's oh, gone! Hey, if this shit's gonna happen, I should be making more deposits at the ATM. Well, all I can do for now is get back on my feet and grab some grub. Ah, to think there'd come a day when we'd share a meal here. I'll say. Still... I assumed it'd just be us. Actually, they're here on Ebina's orders. <laughs> I made a lot of enemies before getting arrested. Plenty of people out there still hate my guts, it seems. Oh, I did what you asked. Got my passport right here. Ah, excellent. So, uh, what's this favor you're asking? I'm sending you to Hawaii. There's someone there who wants to meet you. Hawaii? Uh, who is it? Well, it's your mother. What? She's the one woman the boss truly loved. Akane-san. Huh? W wait that's... Just so we're clear here, yes, you are indeed the boss and Akane-san's child. That fateful day 40 years ago, I saw everything with my own eyes. On that day, two babies at the coin lockers were sadly mistaken for one another. as Masato Arakawa, the boss's own flesh and blood. You were, of course, replaced with... <sighs> the son I abandoned. If you hate me for it, you're welcome to say so. You have every right. You know, I've always had two fathers. Jiro Kasuga at the Shangri-La Soapland, and by oath, Masumi Arakawa. For what it's worth, that's all I needed. Maybe you're right. That said, what about your mother? Right, uh, so, uh, this Akane-san lady is... Yes. She's your mom. 
No, but Akane san, I, I heard she was killed. Heck, Arakawa san told me himself. The Hikawa family hunted her down. You know, the guys Arakawa san used to run with. Right, well, that may be what the boss believed. But it's not entirely true. <sighs> Prior to the boss's departure, the patriarch of the Hikawa family hoped to marry Arakawa san to his daughter. That's how much he liked him. You might even say the patriarch wanted him as his heir. But as fate would have it, the boss was already together with Akane-san, so he had to fearfully turn down the offer. Right. That was it. And the Patriarch's rage upon hearing the news was more than the boss could have ever imagined. In a sudden turn, he tried to kill both the boss and Akane-san, who at the time was pregnant with you. see, the boss had heard Akane-san was caught by the Hikawa family, but he never saw her body for himself. He kept believing she was out there, and so he strung up one Hikawa member after another. But by then, it was too late, and the order to kill Akane-san had already been passed on to the contractors. Contractors? Professional hitmen. So now they were on the hunt, too. The Hikawa Patriarch was playing all his cards. All that to kill Akane-san? Just her alone? Crossing the Yakuza carries a heavy toll. Surely I don't have to tell you that. Mm. It was then Arakawa made one last move. And in order to save your mom, he raided the Hikawa family HQ, all by himself. Arakawa! You're going straight to hell, you damn traitor! Where is she, old man? Wherever she may be, she won't have much longer to live. The hounds are already on her trail, and once they sniff her out, it's feeding time, down to the very last bone. Whether I live or die makes no difference. My orders are absolute. Make new orders. Tell whoever you hired, 
You're calling it off. The plan's already in motion. Give it up. As far as I'm concerned, you crossed the point of no return a long time ago. Did you forget? Where the fuck is Akane? Oh, it's getting real. No longer in the country. She's bound for the Philippines. Stowed away in some shady looking cargo ship, it seems. Imagine a pretty little thing by her lonesome, with hardly a yen to her name. Surely she has to earn her keep somehow. I hear life at sea is quite demanding, but it's the men that see you I'd be concerned about. <laughs> Bet you they're lined up as we speak. Shit, you piece of shit! Oh, damn. Oh, come Tell on. You You're not gonna shoot him in the finger. Or they'll be dead just like you! Hikawa! <laughs> That's the spirit, Arakawa. Oh, I've been wanting to see that face. To hear you scream like that little brat you are! Holy shit, he actually did call. it. Do it already. Oh, come on, man. You're not gonna do a, another finger. <laughs> One really has to wonder, though. How bad is your bitch holding up? Holy shit, he did another one. <laughs> Well, I guess let's just go for all five. The boss continued torturing the Hikawa patriarch until... I mean, that would only left. make sense. It is episode five. But no matter what he did, the madman kept on laughing. Till the bitter end. And in the end, he never found out where Akane-san was. And now he had no chance of calling off her pursuers. But wait, he knew she was headed for the Philippines, right? There had to be something he could do. There was. He flew to the Philippines as soon as possible, and once he formed his own family, his subordinates joined the search. But nothing ever turned up, and the years just kept passing by. He came to believe that if Akane-san were alive, she would have contacted him. That day never came. So he and the rest of us assumed the worst. Though no one ever said it out loud. Here. It's the photo of Akane-san the boss had us carry around. What? I can't imagine you've seen it. This is her? Akane-san? Oh. She's native Hawaiian. Albeit with some Japanese blood mixed in. Then I have that blood too? Guess that's how it goes. Ten years had passed since Akane's son went missing. Then, one day the boss got an emergency call. It was from an officer of a Filipino group we had dealings with. He found a girl in Hawaii who looked just like her. Then that mean... maybe she moved back home at some point? Yeah, we'd been looking at that angle too, as you might have guessed. But the boss never knew where exactly in Hawaii she was born. That might be why we still came up short. So you went there to take a look? To find Akane-san? Soon as I got word, I was on the first flight out. It was just me, though. The boss stayed behind. Why? What? Why didn't he go with me? If I can afford to be blunt? It's because he was afraid. He'd had enough. A man can only have his hopes built up so many times. The stronger and more promising the lead, 
the bigger the hurt when it all fell through. I see. Makes sense. Anyway, off I went. <sighs> Eventually I found her. It was Akane's son, no doubt about it. Yeah, and she was safe and sound? She was. <laughs> about as safe as you can get. Granted, uh, that presented a bit of a problem for me. Huh? Say all went well, and she returned to the boss. Akane-san would inevitably want to meet her child. And in that case, she'd quickly see that her son's been living with a handicap since the transfer at the coin locker. Now, she might at first say that just being able to reunite is enough. But eventually, She'd want to know about his condition, and she'd probably ask how that happened. Before long, she and the boss would be comparing their memories from that night. Then it had hit. They'd realize they transferred their baby at different lockers. How then would they treat Masato Arakawa, the young master, the boy they believed was theirs? Uh, well... No one truly knows what would have happened. But I did know this. As long as Akane-san kept out of Japan, everything here'd stay the same. Neither I nor the young master would have to suffer. Wait, then you... You flew out to Akane-san too? Exactly. When I saw Akane-san, I was planning to kill her. <laughs> Even I couldn't help trembling. I had every intention to get rid of the woman the boss loved. However, I ended up walking away. All thanks to something she said. If anyone asks, I've been dead a long time. And Akane-san has kids out there? It shouldn't come as a surprise if you think about it. A young girl on the run from hired killers. With absolutely no hope of contact from the man she loved. Who could blame her for anything? From then on, it was her life to live. So I decided to honor her wishes. I gave word to the boss that Akane-san was dead. I told him the Hikawa family had reached her first. That all I'd found was her lifeless body. Nothing more. The boss quietly accepted my report. The search for Akane-san was called off, and she was never spoken of again. <sighs> After that, I stayed in contact with her, though sparsely. I needed some control over her so that she wouldn't suddenly get homesick for Japan. You see, you're a certified asshole. Still, I get that this all started because of what Akane-san said. I'm not saying everything you did was wrong. Well, with the boss now dead and me out of prison, the situation has changed. I wrote a letter to Akane-san. I told her everything there was to know. How I betrayed the boss and that Ichiban Kasuga, the boy who grew up in a soap land, was her child. Ironic, isn't it? Neither I nor Akane-san were finally free until long after the boss was gone. <sighs> Anyhow, Ichi, Akane-san, she tells me she wants to meet you. She does? Me? 
Akane-san's home address. It's right there on the front. Is this a letter from Akane-san? It's just the envelope. The letter was to stay between me and her. I'm afraid I can't show it to you. Sure, I get that. Yeah, I'm sure it must be strange to be in your 40s and be asked to meet your mom for the first time. But Akane-san's only getting older. A son ought to set his mother's mind at ease before she passes on, don't you think? Well, yeah. This is just one more way for me to atone for all I've done. I'll be booking your flight to Hawaii. You'll leave tomorrow night. Holy shit. All that's we are going to Hawaii. Is how you feel about it. Will you go? Not for me, but for Akane-san. Please, won't you see her, Ichi? Captain... I beg you. You know, I never thought I'd see the day you bowed your head to me. Alright, I'll go see her. killed you if you'd said no. What's up? Yeah. I see. Okay. Hey. Okay. Okay. Sure. Yep. <gasps> 
Listen. Got it. Thanks. Listen. Yeah. I'm in good shape. I'm taking off, boss. I'm gonna go meet her. Akane-san wants to see me. Arakawa, he had no clue Akane-san was still alive. Or that you were actually his son. He never knew about any of it. You know, whether I'm the boss's blood or not, I can't actually say. Honestly, does it even really matter? Huh? To the boss, I'm just me. And to me, the boss is just the boss. His blood, my blood, it's not important. It doesn't change a thing. And that's why you won't take a DNA test? If it were me, I'd want to set the record straight. For all I care, I got two dads. I've got the boss right here. And I've got Jiro Kasuga, the man who stepped in when no one else would. That's good enough for me. If you say so. Man, you always gotta be so stubborn. Say, by the way, what's that in your hand? Oh, um, I've got some of the boss's ashes in here. Huh. You get that made somewhere? I want to give it to Akane-san. Uh, you know, provided she'll accept it. So that was it, huh? That's what made you decide to go? Maybe. For what it's worth, I thought it might make the boss happy. So, what do you think, boss?
What's up, Nancy? That's my pet crawfish, of course. Nancy. I sort of bargained for her life with a homeless fisherman. She's been with me since. Namba stuck her in a clay pot as a joke, but turns out she finds it pretty cozy. Oh, yeah. If I'm going to Hawaii, Nancy will need a sitter. Wonder who I could ask. Uh, Hitachi san, maybe? Huh? That a no? Uh, listen, if my stay in Hawaii goes long, you might dry out by the time I'm back. <laughs> Fine, have it your way. We're in this together. You want to come to Hawaii with me? Yeah, yeah. Be a good girl and keep cool, Nancy. this guy uh, just another crazy off the streets nothing out of the yard huh. does it feel like we've had this conversation before <laughs> whatever we know how to handle this Roger mm -hmm. you're going down. You stop. Sit. yeah his problem i swear this city's just as ugly as it ever was oh, oh a turncoat titillator classic you've not lost a step casada how fortunate for us all uh -huh. it's been a while my boy you uh who were you again <sighs> It's me, you fool! Professor Morikasa, the bloody Sujiman sensei Oh, right! I was just kidding. Of course I remember you, sensei! Sujiman sensei This guy a friend of yours, Kasuga? You were with me when I met him, I think. He took us over to his, um, Sujiman center, right? Come on, man. It's hard enough to remember the names of cute curls these days. Much less scarred up cue balls. Uh, if you say so. Uh, listen then, this guy's the Sujimon Sensei, the creep who researches other creeps. Let me fill up a whole catalog with data on them, the Sujimon. <laughs> Guilty as charged. More monster than man all, and inclined to make passers-by feel super jittery. Sujimon! Uh-huh. Okay, yes. 
It's a stretch for the necessary classification. For society to rid itself of these violent prehistories, research and categorization are vital endeavors. You see? As ever, my ultimate goal is world peace. No shit. This world, despite all my efforts, it's still rotten with criminals and degenerates. Just look around you for proof. And so I collect data on them, their behaviors, their habitats, to help good, honest citizens stay clear of danger. That's why you needed Kasuga's help, since he's always getting his ass kicked in the seediest parts of town? Right! It's coming back to me now. Well, Kasuga, will you take up the Sujimon cause once more to be the very best? Huh? Uh, sure. You do still have the Sujidex installed on your phone, of course, don't you? Hey, hold on! You... you deleted my Sujidex app! All that data... gone! Hey, man, those things don't have much space! With no cloud backup! Ugh. Nothing to do but reinstall it! Oh, what a pain in the ass. Enough whining. You want to keep the world safe, don't you? Wait, I forgot. I'm planning to go to Hawaii soon. Will this thing even work overseas? Huh? Well, it should, in theory. But why are you headed there, might I ask? I've got some stuff to take care of. My boy. Hawaii is known far and wide as a Sujimon paradise. Uh, really? Mm, one could call it an entirely different region of Sujimon. A tropical dreamscape, yet a land of shadows, blessed by the sun and the moon. In fact, I've even heard tell of some sort of Sujimon tournament there. Uh, how would that even work? Perhaps. We'll speak more of that when the time comes. Away now, my boy. To Hawaii you go for priceless Sujiman data. Remember, gotta dispatch them all. Become the Sujiman master again. Whatever you say, Sensei. Wow, that dude's really fucking weird. Go Definitely wouldn't Hawaii, like to huh? catch him in a dark this alley at be night. My one chance to get it all back. Not a loser. Okay. Take 
Hey, Ichiba. You sure you got enough stuff with you? I mean, it's Hawaii. Not a day trip up to some hot spring. You're staying there at least a few nights, right? Bring enough change of clothes? Hey, if I run out, I'll buy some. I hate dragging luggage around. Look at us. First we're homeless, and now we're stressing about extra clothes. Hey, you're right. We really moved on up. This might just be the R&R &R you needed. Take the time to enjoy it. Oh, and I'm good with any gift. But macadamia nuts. Sure. Thanks, guys. Well, guess I'm off. Happy travels. Nothing like a sunrise in Hawaii. <sighs> On behalf of all of our crew, thank you for choosing to fly with us today. We hope to see you again soon. I take over? Yes, please. Thank you. No need to be so gentle with it. Uh, Just lift him by his belt here. <clears throat> like a sumo in his loincloth. <clears throat> See? <clears throat> Thanks for lending a hand, sir. We appreciate the help. No. If anything, I was being too nosy. I wouldn't call helping a stranger out nosy. I take it you've done this before? Well, an old friend of mine spent most of his life in a wheelchair, so... Ah, uh, yeah, that would do it then. Anyway, you here on vacation? Uh, we could say that, yeah. Right on. Well, let's make the most of it, huh? Later. Thanks again. Oh, uh, hui ho. Uh, who what now? Uh, uh, hui ho. It's like saying, until next time. No. Oh, okay. <sighs> oh, we ho.
Aloha. Aloha. Uh, this mean anything to you? Hmm? Uh, do I speak Japanese? Oh, you can read it. <laughs> you just come in from Japan? I got you. Now, uh, hop in. Hey, all right. Uh, where to? Here's the address. Look familiar? Hmm, uh, that's a good ways away. Oh, really? Is it gonna be a long drive? First time in Hawaii? <sighs> yeah. Cool. Welcome to the island. Uh, hope you have a nice time. So, you're from Japan, right? I'd love to get out there one of these days. <laughs> you say that to everyone who flies in from Japan? Like this is a sales pitch? Nah, that's just how I really feel. Japan's a wonderful country. It's super peaceful. It's a great food. Yeah, but what about Hawaii? This place is supposed to be heaven on earth, right? Well, the warm weather all year round is nice. But, uh... Yeah, Hawaii's got its problems, too. Ah, go figure. And truth be told, we love Japanese guests out here. Uh, they make great customers, and we used to get a lot more before. Maybe you ought to bring your friends next time. Maybe. This time around's kind of personal. You know, you're a pretty upbeat guy, huh? <laughs> that an islander thing? <laughs> no, I, I get that a lot, that I'm easygoing. But I'm not all Hawaii. My dad was from Japan. Oh, really? Then, is your mom from here? Yep. Huh. Hey, I guess you're the same as me. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Actually, I only found that out just recently. Uh, hey, uh, sorry, but mind if I see that envelope again? I, I want to check the address. Oh, sure. <sighs> we almost there? I could have sworn it was more toward the suburbs when I looked it up. Oh, is that right? Because somebody did their homework. Huh? Wow. I definitely knew there was something about this dude I did not like. What a prick. Get out. See, this is why I love the Japanese. Butter them up just a little and they'll trust almost anyone. Should I be putting my hands up? Eh, you can stay as is, as long as you're quiet. I'll want your wallet and your smartphone. And you know what happens if you say no, don't you? You're gonna shoot me? You? Really? You bet your ass. I ask because I don't think you can. Uh, uh-huh? A lot of people say America's some gun-crazy cowboy country. But I doubt many of those cowboys know what it really means to pull the trigger. Uh, the, the, the hell's your point? Uh, hey! You want to know if someone's gonna shoot you? Look at their eyes. A little practice, and you'll get the hang of it. Didn't think Japan would know how to strike back, huh? Maybe now you'll think twice. God damn it! Don't get smart this with dude me, asshole. deserves to get his ass beat. We're gonna clean you out. Let's do it. Cool.
Let's get it done! Get scared! Brace yourself! just did your job, you'd have got a fat tip. But now all you get is a fat lip. Oh, and give me my envelope. Uh, envelope? The one with the address, man. Uh, uh, oh. oh, yeah. Huh? <clears throat> now what? You gonna turn yourself in? <laughs> Actually, it's, uh, you I'm turning in. Huh? Yo! Oh my That's god, he actually what fucking ate it? it what the fuck? I don't know what you're talking about, you taxi robbing dick. The fuck? Officer, help! I am being robbed! This hooter wore my money, and he pointed a gun right at me! Wait a sec! Don't tell me you're seriously buying this crap! Are you? All right, all right, smart guy. Put your hands in the air and turn around! Okay, hang on! I, I'm doing it! Get on your knees! Right now! I can explain! I swear I just got into town! I haven't robbed anyone! Come on, uh, arrest that scumbag! I'm pissing myself over here! Damn it! Why me? This is bullshit! <laughs> Better luck next time, asshole. Hold on, officers! That man is no thief! Oh, hey! You're the Ahuijo guy! Who you should be arresting is the driver! He's the real thief. And if you need proof, I recorded the whole thing. Here. Saved my ass. Not even here a day, and I almost land myself in jail. Sorry you had to go through all that. I was surprised myself. Yeah, but what are you doing here? Well, actually, I was following you. Following me? <sighs> That's right. As we were leaving the airport, I noticed you had hopped into a suspicious looking taxi. It looked suspicious? You could tell just by looking at it? The thing is, I was born here. As it stands, I've got a bit of a, a sixth sense for it. I can tell if a driver's out to scam tourists or not. And he was setting off the alarm, huh? It's not like I was 100% certain about him. But you were so nice to me on the plane, and I imagined what might happen to you, and frankly... I just couldn't leave it alone. Well, thanks, man. You really saved the day. Oh, I'm Kasuga, by the way. Ichiban Kasuga. Kasuga-san? My name's Mitamura. Eiji Mitamura. Hey, that's a good name. So, Kasuga-san, where were you headed, if I may ask? I... Oh, shit, that's right! The address was on the envelope! The envelope? Was that what that driver ate all of a sudden? Yeah. Did you copy the address somewhere? No. 
I didn't think I'd lose something that important. I see. Actually, hold on a moment. I might have something. Huh? You know what? I might be able to work with this. What? Are you serious? I can see the envelope in the video I just took. It's too rough to read as is, but I can try tweaking the footage. And then we can read it? Yes, I think that should work. See, just goes to show you really you'd be do a good that person me? and do good things, and good things happen to in you. Fact, I'd say this was meant to be, but I won't need my laptop to enhance the video, so. If it's no trouble, can I ask you to come to where I'm staying? Oh, sure! Why owe you big time, eh, John? Eh, John? You're AG, right? So you're A John. Sorry, did, did I get a little too chummy? Oh, no. It's just been a while since anyone gave me a nickname. Anyway, should we get going? Actually, Kasuga-san, aren't you hungry? Oh, yeah. I haven't eaten anything since I got here. Could definitely grab a bite right now. In that case, why don't we do that? I haven't had anything either. All right! First big Hawaiian meal, let's do it! There's a place I used to go to pretty often. We can go there if you'd like. Uh, is there anything you'd rather not eat, Kasuga-san? Nah, I'm game for anything. People tell me I act like it's the best thing I've ever tasted, no matter what I'm eating, so... <laughs> well, that's good to know. Tja! If you're picking the place, then I'm ready to chow down. Just maybe we keep it cheap, because, you know, I'm kind of broke. Oh, no worries. It's a casual little place. Yeah, <laughs> we're in business then. Oh, man. Going on a trip's great. You meet all kinds of new people. Shame about the first guy waving a gun in my face, though. Could have done without that. I hear you. Still, all in all, that kind of thing doesn't happen too often. Honestly, I wonder if he's all right. You don't think he got shot or anything, do you? But you're worried about him? A guy like that? Well, I mean, the guy didn't seem evil. Not entirely, at least. <sighs> you're one of a kind, Kazuga-san. Not everyone could admit something like that, especially about someone who tried to rob you. You don't think? <laughs> Maybe it's the island. The bigger the space, the bigger the heart, you know? Kasuga-san, what's the thing you think of when you hear Hawaiian food? Oh, let's see. Loco Moco, I think? Oh, I know I've heard that one before. I mean, hamburger patties and sunny side up egg on rice? I'd wolf that down in two seconds. Oh, <laughs> it is tasty. And these days, it's not just with hamburger. You can get it with chicken or even mahi-mahi. Mahi-mahi? Oh, it's a type of white fish. The big ones get up to about six feet or so. Wow, so is that like a Hawaiian specialty? If I caught a fish that big, I'd never shut up about it. <laughs> it makes for a good story. On that note, Kazuga-san, how long are you planning to stay in Hawaii? I don't know. I haven't decided, but I doubt I'll be here for too long. I'm not exactly here for sightseeing. Oh, then what for? Work or something? No, it's not for work either. Oh, yeah? Well, uh, we've come this far, I guess. My mom and I were separated at birth, and uh, apparently she's still alive. She lives out here now. I came out here to see her. You were separated? Hard to believe, right? It hasn't really hit me yet either. Oh, it's any wonder. I can only imagine how difficult that must be. 
Wait, then the address on that envelope you lost. Was that hers? Exactly. Would have thought some guy would eat the friggin' thing. You sure have been through a lot. <laughs> you know, one door closes, another opens. I mean, here I am now, having a great meal with my new pal. Pal? But you mean me? If it's okay with you, yeah. You've been a great friend so far. Kasuga-san. <clears throat> All right. I guess I'd better get you that address then. I can't let my new pal down, after all. Yeah, I'm counting on you. Thanks. That's right. Yeah. Hmm. I see. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Leave it to me. <laughs> sure. 
sure. Excuse me? <laughs> Sorry. Totally. Sup? No. Sure. Got it.
I see. What? Asuka-san, now's your chance! That's ticket time! Break yourself! My bad. I see. Excuse me.
Sure thing. Aloha! Thank you! Hey. Thank you. Man, Hawaii's awesome. It's gorgeous everywhere you look. I'm glad you're enjoying it. If I wasn't stuck in this chair, I'd show you a few other places too. No, this has been great. Have you been in there a long time, Achan? No. Uh, I was in an accident after work one day. I guess it's been about four or five years since. Oh, an accident, huh? That must have been rough. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, what about your friend, Kasuga-san? You mentioned him earlier. Oh, yeah. He was in an accident, too. He lost his ability to walk when he was just a baby. I met him when I was a teenager. Wheeled him all around town for years. I think I wanted to be the legs he never had. Still, that wasn't what he wanted at all. Really wish I would have known that sooner. Kasuga-san? Hmm? Oh, oh, sorry. Talking to myself. He's a dear friend to you, isn't he? Yeah, he is. He's more like a brother, if anything. A brother? Well, that's how one of us sees it, at least. Oh, also, am I going the right way here? Oh, yeah, this way's fine. All right! Kasuga-san. If I had to guess, I'd say you have a lot of friends. There's something about you. And you're incredibly easy to talk to as well. Hey, thanks, eh, John? I'll introduce you one day. Maybe once we're back in Japan. Oh, no. I would just get in the way. Nonsense! We've got nothing better to do. So, you and your friends, you said you're all in Yokohama? Yeah, Ijincho. I ended up there after getting shot this one time. Woke up in a garbage can. A buddy of mine who was homeless at the time wound up saving my life. <laughs> You're making things up now, right? It's the truth. Honestly, I've never told a single lie in my life. <laughs> you sure that wasn't a lie? <laughs> See, look. You're on my chest. You've still got the bullet wound. You're kidding. Oh, wow. Is that really a bullet wound? Yeah. And the guy who saved me is a good friend. Has been to this day. He did eventually find work and stuff, but as I said, we're all back on the job hunt now. Yeah, that's right. Sheesh, it's all coming back to me. Everything was my fault. I'm why they lost their jobs. Is everything okay, Kasuga-san? Yeah, sorry. Uh, just some baggage I haven't let go of. Well, I don't know any of the specifics, but if they're your friends, I'm sure they've gotten over it. You sure know how to cheer a guy up, eh, Sean? Uh, <laughs> don't mention it. Here we are, Kasuga-san. This is the place. Oh, we're here? Okay. Thanks for having me. How's it look, Achan? Can you pull it off? Well, 
I'm gonna run the image through analysis right now. We'll know soon enough. Unreal. I'm totally clueless with this stuff. Well, I could never fight off some lunatic cab driver. Okay, analysis complete. As for the address... Huh, I think we got it. Holy crap! How did you do that? Hey, I'm just glad I could help. You're the man! Thanks so much, Achan! <laughs> what the hell? Who the fuck are these guys? Oh, uh, this bitch. From the taxi. Had to call his buddies because he couldn't fight his it's own like fight. It's like a meat locker in here. So, these were the Look ones at this giving fake you ass grief Keanu looking motherfucker. Uh, yeah, there's no doubt about it, you my son. <laughs> Dude looks like a modern day pirate. Hmm. You know. Your face looks awful familiar. Yeah? Now where have I seen you before? Oh, that's right. You're Kasuga, the hero of Yokohama. Huh. I'll be darned. Don't tell me you boys don't know. Kasuga here starred in the great dissolution of the Yakuza. What? I take it you didn't come for an autograph. Your little taxi scheme went south, and now you want to settle the score, is that it? While it is true that Tomizawa here botched the job all by himself, the car he got impounded belongs to my syndicate. Oh yeah? You trying to tell me there are Yakuza in Hawaii? Not exactly something you'd find in a guidebook, is it? <sighs> On that note, someone's going to need to reimburse us. At a glance, I'd say you're strapped for cash. You do seem rather lively, though, so I'm sure we can put you to work. A level with you, you my son. I have no idea how the Yakuza operate out here in Hawaii. What I do know is you've got it ass backwards. If anybody's gonna reimburse you, it should be him. <laughs> I do see your logic. The problem is, he's worthless. <laughs> oh, does somebody not drink his milk? A light tap like that and your bones go crunch. Fragile little thing. How could you? This bottom feeder used to owe us money, you know. And so, I gave him work because he claimed he had no income. So if anything, he should be thanking me. Hmm. Hmm. That's some fine-looking tech you got there. Don't you goddamn dare! If you want to fight, you got one. But leave Achan out of this. Kasuga-san, all that's left of your envelope is on there. I didn't think to back up that image, so if they take my laptop... Got it. But don't worry. I won't let them anywhere near you. It seems we're at an impasse, then. Ooh, I'm freezing my ass off in here. Freezing? How are you not sweating your ass off? If only that were the case. Unfortunately, this tropical weather does nothing for me. Nobody understands. However, this might warm the blood. I guess all these bitches want their ass kicked too. Let's get it. Kasuga-san, let me take support here. Thanks, Aton. By all means. Let's get it done. Open wide. Get locked. That's kicking time. Brace yourself. Crush you! Two! This is a 
tough one. Kashigasan, here! Open one! I'll show you. Are you all right? Here, you stay cool. You want with it? That's picking time. Hey, John. I'm fine, but I'll need time to recover. You're in it now. Cool. Break yourself. This is a tough one. You. This could be it. Be careful! I'm gonna make this quick. John? I'm fine, but I'll need time to recover. Yeah! Let's rock! I'll show you! Don't get caught! Cool! Now! Okay, enemy analysis complete. And picking time! Uh, this is a tough one. I'll show you! Kasuka-san! Allow me! I'm gonna make this quick. Hmm? Much better.
Are you all right? Here, you hey, this. Yeah. Show you, Kasuga-san. Here. And yeah. Him up. Think I'm getting stronger. <laughs> On to the next level. <laughs> Sorry, H. Sun. No telling if there's more on the way. We gotta go. Right. The laptop's safe, and the image of the address is secure. I just sent it to your smartphone. Really? Jeez, you're in this scary mess because of me. You got guts, eh, Sean? Not at all. I just didn't have much of a choice. <laughs> when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Thanks, eh, Sean? I mean it. You're my hero. Damn. So I guess we will be seeing more of him. Ichiban Kasuga, eh? Well, Kasuga-san, thanks for everything. You kidding? No way, thank you! I dragged you into all that crap. No, 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 don't worry. Honest. It was an experience, and an invaluable one at that. If I'd heard I'd one day get into a Yakuza brawl, I'd have never believed it. <laughs> you got me there. Also, Kasuga-san, you treated me like a regular person. You look at me being in a wheelchair like it's just a difference of being right or left-handed. Honestly, it was refreshing. I really enjoyed our time together. I'm... <laughs> Not so good with praise. <laughs> Go on, keep it coming. <laughs> I gladly would if we had the time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for everything, Achan. Let's meet up again. Uh, once things quiet down. Definitely. Best of luck with everything. Yeah, take care. Ahuiho! <laughs> yeah. Ahuiho, Kasuga-san. So, this is where Akane-san lives. <sighs> what do I 
even call her? Mom? No, that'd be weird. Excuse me, Akane-san? My name is Ichiban Kasuga. I came here all the way from Japan. Actually, Captain Sawashiro sent me. Hmm. Huh? Is anyone home? Come on, Mom, answer the damn door. I haven't seen you all my life. Maybe she's out. <laughs> Excuse me! Hello? Sorry! Come on in! All right, guys, that's it for episode five. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on the next one.